Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today again I'm going to be showing you guys a weekly recap of how the stocks that I was recommending throughout the week and some of the plays that I was recommending throughout the week actually performed if you would have purchased them. Now as you remember from a long time ago, if you've been following my channel, I had around $100 to $200 in my account after starting with 12 and if you look at the three month graph here, you can see that I started with around $12, grew it slowly over time, and now the account is sitting at $860, guys. And this is all because of one play that I actually made this week that I am very, very happy I made. I, I wasn't going to do it and I considered it a lot before I put my money in. However, I felt like it was a very strong opportunity and I'm gonna be explaining that more towards the end of the video and what I saw and why I got it. So one of the first plays I want to go over here is the play the play stock play that I made and that is essentially Dave and Buster's here and I told you guys Dave and Buster's is a stock that is going to keep growing into the future because of the fact that so many stores and businesses are ready to reopen and are ready to begin earning money again. Now play is one of the stocks that was hardest hit because of the fact that they rely mostly on in-person business. So the fact that they had to be closed really hurt this stock and really hurt the options for this stock a lot. So when options are hurting and prices are going down on these contracts, the best thing you can do, like I've always said, is sell the contracts. Now in this case, I sold the $18 call or put, sorry, and bought the $17 put. Now what does this mean? When I sell the $18, it's like a a pot of price floor right so I think that price is going to stay above $18 over the time that this contract has till expiration and the $17 put is just in case price does go below this price then I'm secure and maybe I will lose a substantially less amount of money than if I just sold the contract by itself now as you can see I'm up three dollars right now but I'm not really worried. This contract still has a whole week of time. So time decay hasn't really paid a big role yet, a big toll on the on the contract prices. And you can see that I've had multiple chances to withdraw for around 10, 20 to $15 profit. However, I'm looking for the full amount. I'm not really trying to make just $20. And I know that Dave & Buster's stock is going to continue rocketing above this level and even into next week especially. That's why I got a little bit extra time on it than I usually do. And for that reason, I feel very confident that this option will come into the money and will be profitable for me, even though it already is. I feel that it could still be even more profitable. So that's the first play that I talked about during the week. Then one of the other plays that I actually showed was the Snap 19 and a half put. And before last week, I actually had the $18 put and that one actually expired worthless, but it was a weekly, so it cost me around 20 cents. So I wasn't really worried about that one expiring worthless. I just wanted to see if it could even make money or how it how it went. Like, you know, Snapchat has been on an absolute moon mission in the last few weeks, and a lot of people do own and bet against Snapchat. Unfortunately, you can see here that it hasn't worked out well for me. The stock, or the sorry, the option really held its value throughout the whole week yesterday at, and all the way up to 143, the price that I bought it at. However, I didn't sell out because I did think that Snap could keep selling off. And as you can see from the price of this contract, they unfortunately did not. They're sitting around $20.32. So if I did hold this contract to expiration, it would expire worthless. However, I do have a month of time on it still. So I'm not really worried about selling it anytime soon. If Snapchat does come back to this $19.5 level, then I will be potentially back in the money. So I'm not worried about this contract at all, even though it is losing around $50. I made enough gains today to cover all that and more. So yeah, that's why you got to know if something is a bad play or if something is a, a basically a hedge play just to cover your losses, cover your back end, then you can only then you should only buy one contract of it. Don't be buying 10 contracts of something that you're not sure how it's going to perform. Now, another thing that I've talked a lot about is Ford. And these are some $8 calls that I actually bought earlier in the week this week. And I bought them with a month of time. And the reason why I bought these is because on one of my Chinese stock delisting videos, somebody in the comments told me that I was stupid for thinking that Ford would be able to increase in value and that I was more likely to make money through Chinese, Chinese electric car companies. And I just wanted to prove that person wrong because I know that Ford is actually a very strong American company. And I'm a big believer in American tech and American uh, muscle. So I'm very glad that I bought these calls because as you can see, Ford went up over 12% today. And now the three contracts that I bought for $5 are actually worth around 35 each. 
So you can see that I made $90 today off these contracts. I'm very happy. I'll probably sell them in coming into Monday so they don't actually lose any more value. But I want to make sure that if Ford continues to climb, I'm able to continue profiting off that move. And I'll probably do the same thing into next week. I'll buy some contracts at around the $5 price range and then just hold them and see if they can actually gain value. Because like I said, if I lose $15, I'd rather take that risk than thinking that I lost out on 105 You can see that's how much the total of the contracts were. Now, I made this play today for around a month of time. And I really like this July 17th date, not for any specific reason, but because of the fact that by this time, we'll be very close to elections. And a lot of the stuff that President Trump is putting into effect right now, such as tax cuts for the middle class and, and tax cuts, for the consumer are going to be taking effect and we're going to be see a lot more earnings coming in and we're going to be able to see how the market is going to be climbing if it is going to still be climbing towards that date. So I actually did buy these around the price low of the day right here, $363. Now I probably should have put in an order for $360. However, I'm not really, I'm not dying over $5 or $10. So essentially I held them and you can see over the whole day how JP Morgan uh, acted and the reason why I bought these contracts is because I'm actually very very bullish on Bank of America stock and a lot of people were telling me JP Morgan Chase okay it's the bigger version of Bank of America and it's going to have an even stronger recovery because of that fact now we can see that I bought them around the $109 price range here and even though they did dip later in the day they still continued up to 111 so I feel that $111 is a strong price for JP Morgan and they can probably continue all the way back up to this $115 price tag if the stock market is able to continue rocketing upwards. Now, none of these plays that I've talked about so far are the play that gave me the most amount of money this week. That play was actually with American Airlines, and we can see it here if we look at their stock, that they actually rocketed up in the last week two days in a row. Now, what does this mean? When you buy an options contract, the majority of the price is coming from the fact that a stock went up incredibly strongly in a short period of time. This is what really could move an options price. And as you can see, I bought them around right here, $11.30. When I saw them have this jump from the $9 price range to around $11.30, I knew it was time to jump in. And this was around three days ago. Because of the fact that airline, airlines have been beat down so strongly, they have to recover in a short amount of time. And with everything reopening and the fact that airlines even announced that they went from around 99% open capacity to around 92%, I believe, then this is really good news for the airline industry as it means a lot of people are recovering and be coming back to their services and using them again. So what exact contract did I buy here? <clears throat> like I said, I like to buy contracts for about a month of time out. That's one thing that I learned actually, if you, unless you're 100% sure that a contract is going to be gaining value in the next week, then you're more than likely better off to buy a lot of time on that contract. Because even if you're wrong, like you saw on Snapchat, you still have a lot of time for the stock to correct and maybe even give you that favorable price. So as you can see here, I actually purchased the $18 call for $717. So that's about a month of time out. And like I said, guys, my plan here was to simply just hopefully keep continue to keep uh, profiting off this move and even by the end of the day the contract was worth around $12 you can see that it went all the way to 1191 however this doesn't represent the accurate price cuz they were around 1250 by the time the contract closed 2 days ago so i was like okay guys like maybe there's enough time for this contract to have another move or obviously there is but maybe in the short run they can keep continuing to grow as i saw the spy and other indicators of the stock market showing that we were going to continue rocketing up and I guess that happened, guys, because you can see that the contract here or the stock price is around $18 to $19. And this morning, they were actually worth $22, guys. So this is a crazy price for American Airlines. I was able to sell right at the peak, and my contracts went from a value of around $88, as you can see what I purchased them for, $86, all the way to a price of $600, guys. So this is, this is incredibly incredibly good news and I honestly couldn't believe it when I woke up this morning and saw it I felt that there would be a pullback coming as is usually happening with airlines now 
How did I know that? I looked back in the chart and I saw that every move upwards had an equal and opposite reaction downwards. So knowing this information, I figured that it was better to sell than to continue holding. And if I look at the contract now that I sold for $600 this morning, it's only worth around $350. So I'm actually very glad I sold it when I did. I gained around 100% more value by selling it when I did than holding it. So that's why it's very important, guys, to also be looking at the technicals of a stock and what you know about the past of a stock to basically decide how you play each individual move. Because if I would have held it the way I'm holding JP Morgan, then I might have lost a lot more money and I would be very sad right now talking to you guys. <laughs> so as you can see here from my portfolio, I was able to gain over $500 this week off a lot of plays that I made, especially off plays that I made off the channel. If I would have if I would have sold this one at maximum value, I'd probably be sitting around 880. If I sold this calls around maximum value, I'd probably be sitting around 900. So yeah, guys, you can see that my highest value for this week was around 920. So like I said, I don't really need a fight over 10 or 15 dollars. I'd rather wait if I feel that the contract can continue gaining value here. So that's very important for you guys to know and to keep training, training your mind and training your eye to what these stocks usually do, so you can continue earning the maximum amount of profit because who doesn't want to pull out when a stock is at its highest price, right? So yeah, as you can see, $300 for the last few weeks and then here in the last five days here, I was able to rock it up $538. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching as always. As always, follow the plays of the channel. Know which ones are good and bad and make your own decision. None of this is real financial advice. Like I always have to add that disclaimer. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe the video and watch out for those plays.